Good morning, it's Lawrence from Rome Mosaic Workshops here, and today I want to have a look at the similarities in a couple of mosaics. Uh, this one here is the Muse Calliope, surrounded by Socrates and the Seven Sages, 3rd century AD. Uh, it's in the National Museum of Beirut, and I believe it's found in Baalbek um, area. So here you've got the central portrait, um, and then you've got your eight portraits around the edge around the side and if you look here the actual pattern although it's creating a, a, an octagon here you have two greek crosses interwoven so if you follow the double strand starting the top the double strand guillotte around here you can see there's one cross and then the twisted ribbon you can see there's another cross now if we put this side by side the one from turkey uh, this one here on the right, uh, you can see this was found at Zugma. So we have a central portrait. We have exactly the same wave pattern. You have an octagon um, created by interwoven Greek cross, two interwoven Greek crosses there. You have the same borders used. You've got wave, you've got double guillotte, you've got twisted ribbon. And now... Two different, completely different areas. Uh, you could say it's possible that they had a plan to follow. Um, whether it be on papyrus, I don't know, because that would have been quite valuable to use. Um, any sort of drawing would work, and any sort of explanation as well. Uh, if you say, okay, do a central portrait, do eight portraits around it with a twisted, with a, a double interwoven Greek cross, and then use double guillotte, wave, twisted ribbon. Now, you could actually explain that, but what makes me think this is the same mosaicists is the corner detail. So if we go back to the large one here, take a look at the corner, sort of just a uh, almost inconsequential part of the uh, mosaic design here, but look at the way they've done that now if we go into a close-up of both corners the zoom one obviously the the photo wasn't that big so it's not that clear but can you see here let's look at this center point there exactly the same shape now you have this almost like a lily uh, coming off here you've got vines coming off there you have the same there and then outside the last piece you have the same shape now, with the, the slight difference between these two here, if you took these leaf parts off there, you see they're not appearing on the Zugma one on the right, then you're going to have the same shape. So we have a, a, a spiral off to the left, off to the left there, spiral off to the right, you've got the same there, and then as you go along, you see that curl, and then there's that shape there. Now, this is just the corner part, um, so with something like this, it it just makes me think it is the same ones because you could describe the rest of the mosaic quite easily, um, but would you go into that detail for the corner? Whereas we can see they are so similar. Now, obviously, we, we don't know for sure, but... It just, to me, it does seem to be the same hands that have done it um, rather than any copybook or any plan that was followed to.